what's wrong? My man ain't shit. Girl, what's wrong? My man ain't shit. Girl, what's wrong? My man ain't shit. Well, why you won't leave him? Cause bitch, dick too bad. I'm not sure why I used this song to introduce the video. Uh, it's just an old school banger that I just remembered, so I just decided to play it. Um, yeah, in no circumstance should a D be too bomb for you to stay with a guy that doesn't treat you right, okay, girl? So, yeah, celebrity is key. <laughs> Hi, guys, welcome back to another episode of Thursday Nights with Sunshine. <laughs> So for my new subscribers that don't know what Thursday Nights with Sunshine is, it's basically me uploading on a Thursday talking about random stuff. So this could go anything from celeb gossip to what's going on in my life or university to investments, you know what I'm saying? It's random stuff that is on my mind because I'm quite a random person and I like to talk a lot. There's a moth behind me and I'm not going to kill it so it's going to chill there, alright? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> but yeah happy new year guys wow 2018 we all made it i thank god Leo. when it turned midnight i started crying i was just cry i couldn't stop crying like i was just so grateful that i made it into the new year because i know so many people didn't you know so i'm just so happy that i made it and i'm just ready for this year i'm ready to you know <laughs> show them yeah yeah like don't oh, worry big things are coming big things are coming so this year i haven't really got new year's resolutions or goals per se like i do have stuff that i want to achieve and stuff like that but i haven't really got any you know ground breaking ground punching pumping air yeah, goal like i ain't got anything like that i i don't know i'm just going with the flow this year you know <laughs> obviously i have direction i'm not just going where the wind takes once i end up nowhere you know what i'm saying i do have a direction i want to go i'm just going to keep on going in that direction and if good things happen to me i'll be very happy <laughs> but one of the things i do want to learn this year i want to learn how to fluently sign like in british sign language like, i don't know any deaf people but i just want to learn it because i feel like it's a valuable skill and i know that one day definitely i'll come across a deaf person and i'd love to talk to them in sign language but i do know some sign language <laughs> that's hard sign language is actually harder than it looks oh well, it looks hard anyways yeah so it's as hard as it looks yeah what well, you're learning anyways <laughs> So I feel like everyone should take on the challenge to do something or learn something that will benefit other people rather than yourself. Yeah. I'm so proud of the creative industry. Like last year, we took over from singers, rappers, artists, book writers, YouTubers, content creators, Instagram babe, you know, like everyone did bits and I'm so proud. However, the Ghanaians ruined it. You're probably thinking, oh, here comes Nigerians insulting Ghanaians. No, you know I love Ghanaians. Me a Ghana, me a Ghana to the world, you know. However, a particular songwriter or singer or whatever he wants to call himself ruined it for you lot with this song. <laughs> On the topic of music, let's talk about the tingles. So recently a rap group called 70 minus 3 or 65 plus 2, however you want to do it, uh, let's say 27 plus 50, you know, yeah, I'm not going to mention the full name of the group because they have gone and rifle and pistol and shank. <laughs> Amanda want to get shank up in here because <laughs> my Kadapa ain't going to save me and no one is going to back me because I said I'm not going to back anybody. So. I'm riding or dying for myself. <laughs> so apparently this rap group had an issue with Michael Dapper because he used their instrumental from one of their songs and apparently he used one of the guys from 70 minus threes like you know phrases or whatever and he didn't give them any clout or bring in <coughs> right. I've got a lot of things to say about that but the only thing I will say is that they wouldn't care. 17 minus three would not care if Michael didn't blow. Do you get what I'm saying? Now that he's blown. 
that's when they're saying, oh yeah, but my man didn't bring man in. I was the one that used that instrument. And I said it in a previous Thursday Nights of Sunshine. I said, yo, all these rappers that are actually trying to rap on the real thing, they're probably very envious of Michael Dapper that he made a parody rap and he has blown. In the, yo, God, the way God can just favour a man is actually mad. Obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of how 70 minus 3 is feeling, but I do feel like if they had an issue or they felt like they deserved some coin, then they should have talked to Michael and his is, you know team privately i feel like that's the most professional thing to do because now 70 minus 3 just look very very salty at the moment you know very very salty but apparently they've talked it out and they're cool now but i'm still looking at 70 minus 3 sideways thinking all oh, right cool mm. and the thing is if i was to come up with my own remix no one will care no one will even bother me but it's the time where I blow, it's when CNN are calling me to come and perform on the news station. That's when people start saying, yeah, you use my beat, yeah, you use my lyric, yeah, you use my wig, you use my, my hairbrush in your video. Really, nigga? <laughs> Oh my god guys, I made a new friend, like if you know me personally, you know I do not like to make new friends, I don't want to meet new people, I am very comfortable with the people I have in my life okay so for me to actually have a new friend in this day and age right now is a very big thing for me so my new friend is called michael boom <laughs> come and see editing <laughs> he has a youtube channel as well you should go check it out his channel is amazing he deserves way more subscribers like you know those people that you see you're just thinking why aren't people watching your channel triggered right now because that's how i feel about my channel but anyways moving on yes yeah, so i'm just thinking why are people not watching his channel like his channel is sick he's so sick at editing like he's so creative yo michael you're gonna blow you're gonna blow you're gonna blow i feel like god placed michael in my life for a reason because the impact he has made in literally like less than a month of actually talking is it's so mad it's actually so mad as cheesy as this may sound but he was literally an answer to a prayer that i prayed you know like yeah and don't get guys 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 cut the music i don't want to see any eye emoji i don't want to see any monkey emoji in the comment section okay a guy and girl can be friends okay he is single though so any girls looking for a guy that is six foot two that has beard beard hit him up <laughs> the thing is i have to mention this in my video because many of you probably think that i don't appreciate my friends because i'm always saying that i'm not gonna back my brethren which is very it still applies don't get it twisted it still applies but i do really appreciate my friends and i really do love my friends so so much like on new year's eve i sent like all of my friends like a new year's voice note i literally three of my friends were crying from what i said you know i'm quite poetic of that <laughs> <laughs> right on the topic of christianity let's talk about spac nation so spac nation is like a youth church and um they've been receiving a lot of backlash on twitter you know many people are saying that it's a cult church many people are saying that the pastor is eating the destiny of the youth many people are saying that their members are criminal murderer fraud gang banger they're still committing fraud inside the church offering basket there's so many rumors <laughs> it's so funny because why do we know all this stuff like yo whether the pastor is a correct pastor or an agent of satan i will never comment on a pastor in such a negative way that mm -mm, you, no no because you don't know if that man is sent by god or not so so for you to insult a man of god chai, there is god though. personally never been to the church i don't know if i would go there i will never say never maybe i'll go there one day but i haven't been there so obviously i can't comment so much however the thing that is just 
put in the church down is the people on Twitter that go to their church. You can't be telling people that, yo, I know a couple people in my church that are still on a mad team, so keep on moving mad. Like, how can you say that? How can it, yo, the, fam, there's a lot of comments I saw that day, and I was like, wow. I just feel like, as Christians, we should all represent Christ in the best way that we can, because we may be the only Jesus that people may see. Do you get me? And I feel like so many people are turned off by Christianity because of fellow Christians, you know. So don't let the devil use you. I want to quickly touch on this whole YouTubers collabing with each other and stuff like that. Like, recently I've been seeing YouTube videos, I've been seeing posts on Twitter, posts everywhere about the whole YouTube scene and stuff like that. Collaborating with other YouTubers is actually not by force. Not everybody must collab with everybody, you know. I think it's very obvious when a collaboration is forced. One person is talking this way, one person is talking that way. Their energies are just not mixing together, you know. It's very noticeable. So personally, I will never do a collab with someone that I do not get along with that our energies are not the same that I don't feel like we have anything in common or like that we're not friends with you know, with each other I feel like I'm not in the YouTube community I feel like I don't take it seriously I feel like I don't network enough I feel like I don't have any friends okay I do have some friends that have a YouTube channel but I'm not really out there like other people you know and I really don't know why, like, each time there was an opportunity for me to actually network with people or collab with people, I've been either busy or just unavailable or I'm working, you know, or something just doesn't make it happen, you know. So I've just never been in the midst of bare YouTubers ever. And I feel a bit left out, but it's my fault, to be honest, because I haven't been around YouTubers, but I just feel like I don't belong in the category, if that makes sense. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't want to be a part of anyone, you know, I don't want to be in a group, I don't want to be in a category or anything. I like being a free person, but I feel like it also has a downsides because I feel like... I just don't fit in anywhere, you know? Yeah. The one thing people really get wrong about me is they feel like because I'm a fob and a freshie and a... I found out that I could be illegal... Not really illegally here, but... <laughs> but, um... <sighs> Yeah, don't want to talk too much because I don't know if immigration is watching this, you get me? But, um, yeah, I found out some interesting information about, um, my life the other day. Well, that's the end of Thursday Nights with Sunshine. Any opinions on any of the things I've said, comment them down below. I reply to everybody and I appreciate and love your comments so, so, so much. Let's cheers to the first Thursday Nights of Sunshine in 2018. I fin I don't finish this time ago. Yeah. Oop, the moth. Right, okay, right. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. See ya.